Tajima's D. Purpose To estimate difference between observed genetic diversity pi and expected genetic diversity theta, divided by or relative to its standard deviation for n aligned DNA sequences, assuming constant population size and neutral model. Tajima's formula Assuming a neutral evolution and constant population size, Tajima's D for n aligned DNA sequences is calculated as Tajima's D equals the difference between observed diversity pi and expected diversity theta over the square root of the variance of that difference between pi and theta with V the variance which is the average square distance from the mean where standard deviation equals the square root of variance theta equals 4n mu where n is effective population and mu mutation rate across entire sequence theta can be estimated from S which is the number of segregating sites as follows theta equals S over A1 A1 equals the sum of 1 over I as I runs from 1 to n minus 1 n is the number of sequences and I any given DNA sequence Tajima's formula Tajima's D equals pi minus theta over square root of variance of pi minus theta where theta equals S over A1 to proceed with the more complicated form of the formula use n and i to calculate the eight formulas on the right to use in the variance formula v equals e1s plus e2s times s minus one then insert into the tajima's d original formula along with pi and s to become tajima's d equals pi minus s over a1 over square root of e1s plus e2s times s minus one as the final version of tajima's d formula solving a problem Example Below is the population of 10 aligned DNA sequences. Calculate Tajima's D in this population. Prerequisites for Tajima's D To calculate Tajima's D, we need to know or calculate the following 1. Pi Observed nucleotide diversity 2. S Number of segregating sites 3. N Number of sequences 4. Theta Expected nucleotide diversity and 5 V variance calculating observed genetic diversity pi assuming population random mating the nucleotide diversity pi between i and j DNA sequences in the sample is calculated using the following formula pi hat equals n over n minus 1 sum for x i hat x j hat pi i j between i and j n number of DNA sequences examined xi population frequency of i type of DNA sequence xj population frequency of j type of DNA sequence pi ij number of nucleotide differences per site between the i and the j sequences the hat sign indicates estimation step 1 calculate frequency calculate frequency which is number of identical DNA sequences over total number of DNA sequences. Using color code for clarification, sequences 1, 3, 6, and 7 are identical, giving an X of 0.4. Sequences 2, 5, and 8 are identical, with an X of 0.3. Sequences 4 and 9 are identical, with an X of 0.2. Sequence 10 is unique, with an X of 0.1. 2. Shorten list. Remove identical DNA sequences and make a list of representative sequences. The four DNA sequences representing the sample or population. Step 3. Calculate pi ij. Calculate pi ij for each pair of the DNA sequences. Make a table that contains all probable pairs, with i the first sequence and j the second sequence, as 1 with 2, 1 with 4, 1 with 10, 2 with 4, 2 with 10, and 4 with 10. Pi ij between sequences 1 and 2 equals 2 over 39, where 2 is the number of differences between the two sequences, represented by ta and cg and 39 number of nucleotides or sites in the sequence. 
mind that ends or hyphens or missing nucleotides are not counted. Step 4. Calculate pi. Calculate the overall pi as nucleotide diversity. To the previous table, add two columns. One for n over n minus 1 and one for xi xj pi ij. n over n minus 1 equals 10 sequences over 10 minus 1 equals 1.1. To calculate xi xj pi ij for the first pair of sequences, sequence 1 and 2, Refer to the small table where x for sequence 1 is 0.4 times 0.3 for sequence 2 times 0.05 for pi ij column in the big table equaling 0.06. After calculating all pairs, the sum of xi, xj, pi ij will be 0.028. Then go to the main formula where pi becomes 1.1 times 0.028 equals 0.031. As pi has been calculated as 0.031, then let's work out s, n, and theta all together. Calculate theta. The four sequences show five segregating sites, s which are mismatches between the sequences which can range from 1 to n, where n is the number of sequences. Theta equals s over a1, s equals 5. a1 is the sum of 1 over i, as 1 runs from 1 to n minus 1, which equals 1 over 1, plus 1 over 2, plus 1 over 3, but not 1 over 4, because the maximum range is 1 over n minus 1. Theta equals 5 over 1.83, which equals 2.73. Pi equals 0.031, S equals 5, N equals 4, Theta equals 2.73. Now let's calculate V, variance. Calculate variance, V. Use N and I to calculate the 8 formulas on the right, where N is the number of sequences and I is any given sequence. With pi, s, n, theta, and v now, let's calculate the GMS D. The GMS D equals minus two point one with normal range between minus 2 to 2 and really outside this range. If you ask me why not considering n equals 10 instead of n equals 4, well, in both cases, the GMSD values will be close. Interpretation of the GMSD test. Three possible results. 1. D equals 0. Difference between pi and theta is 0, which means both are equal, indicating neutral evolution. 2. D less than 0. Pi minus theta is negative, indicating low variation caused by recent population expansion or selective sweep or positive selection. And 3, d greater than 0, pi minus theta is positive, indicating high variation caused by balancing selection or recent population contraction. Positive and negative values indicate deviation from neutrality. The GMSD in research applies to haploid data only. In a diploid situation, one sequence haploid is used in the calculations. Measures of genetic variation are interpreted collectively. In studies with large population, a special software is needed such as DNASP. References